iPhone 7 Plus display connector repair. Uh, the guy wanted it replaced. I, I made a video earlier and got this thing working, but uh, they don't want to muck with it, so I don't blame them. I'm actually going to do it inside the inside the housing just because I'm freaking lazy. So, uh, not a whole lot to it really. I mean, it looks pretty pretty straightforward. So, uh, let's put a little heat on that sucker. Just be very careful with this the the, the air, the loudspeaker, because that will burn. That will burn and burn. That's why I got heat sinks all over this damn place. I'm actually going to put a little flux on this. Uh, that's not good. It's already burning. Ugh. Shortcut is not working, so I think I'm gonna have to disassemble this mother, which is my worst nightmare. But it has to be done, man, because look, it's already burning. So it's already burning. Not gonna look good if I return this thing all burnt up. Alright, let me pause it and disassemble. Okay, that wasn't horrible, so let's continue on. The board was out. It's a little bit easier than a si uh, 7, I feel like. Anyways, let's get moving here, man. It's late on Friday. Oh, removal. We'll flux on this sucker and let's wick. Let's wick. clean solder flux 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 so I actually I act like I work a lot but treat this I used to work a lot when I was uh, doing this on my own but now I got CNG helping me, and, uh, and I, st I still feel like I work a lot, but the truth is, I really only work about five, six hours a day now. But, uh, this is, um, compared to. So, so I had a Philly marketing company before this, and, uh, what's going on here? Why is, why, am I, why is my shit so dirty? I mean, why is this not 
tinning. So I had my own Philly marking company uh, for eight, nine years. Well, I still have it, but it's it's um the 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 bigger part of the business is pretty much dead, just because of the nature of the um, business. Uh, but I still have some other stuff that are just kind of self-sustaining. And uh, anyways, uh, it was it was great. I I just played golf all the time. Uh, when I uh, when I had my affiliate marketing business, and uh, talking about not working, I really didn't work. I mean, you know, I bust my ass, but. I try not to work unless I absolutely have to, meaning like, <laughs> I'd rather not work, let's just say that. But I work hard to not work. I don't know if that makes sense. But I work hard to not work, right? Doesn't everybody want to work hard to not work again? I think that's the goal. Um, so, yeah, so I worked hard to not work, and uh, I didn't work for for quite a while actually like literally I was trying to figure out what to do with my day every day uh, for a long time which actually gets kind of boring sometimes um, so anyways <laughs> five to six hours seems like an eternity to me <laughs> let me go get a connector real quick So where were we? Uh, where were we, man? Um. Okay. So I got my connector here, and uh, I, you know, the only way to really put a connector on is using a hot air. Um. You know, at least the the end joints, at least. You know, basically any of the ground joints. Like, you're gonna have a hard time getting the ground joints on without hot air, man, because they don't, they just don't stick. So what I like doing is I like uh. I like just getting started with the hot air and, and make sure I get the ground joints melted nicely. And then I'll go in with my tweezers and, and, and do the rest of it, you know. So still one of the biggest questions I get asked is, you know, what is the hot air temperature to use and stuff like that? And most people who try this, they're, they're going to melt the connector the first time, you know, which is which is okay, all right? Like, don't be discouraged, you know, because we all melt the connector initially. If you melt the connector, then you have the um, hot air a little bit too close. Maybe the airflow a little too high. Uh, maybe too high of a temperature, maybe? Um, something. It's not right. So you really just have to experiment. I mean, you know, I, I bought a ton of boards just to practice. And that's what you got to do. So, okay, you see a little bit. Okay, I should probably stop talking now. Good. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll stop talking now because I'm going to botch something. Alright. I just want to get just belt straight here. Straight as I can, at least. Okay, that's good. Alright, so as you can see, the end joints are soldered on nicely. These ground pads are impossible to solder on by, by yourself, really, by, by a soldering iron. They just don't stick for some reason, but when you use hot air, they stick well. So so I think we're pretty much in, in good shape here. Um, I'm going to take the tape off since I don't need it anymore. Then what I like doing is... I've got my JBC tweezers here. I think somebody just asked me what tweezers I'm using, and I am using the JBC tweezer. Um, JBC NASE, NASE 1 to B. You can find everything on microsoldering.com and just click on tools, my equipment. That's basically everything I'm using. So, what I like doing is, you know, it kind of, it's kind of stuck right now, but really, uh, I'm using 0.1 millimeter tips here. So I like going it, and I like seeing nice little shiny joints, man. I don't know about you, but I like shiny joints. I actually think the um, three millimeters are a little bit better. There you go. But these are definitely 
you know what, let me try my three millimeters because this is annoying the shit out of me. Alright, I got three millimeter now. As you can see, three millimeter, you, you get the whole ball of solder, but the one millimeter doesn't reach the tip really, you know. And so these are pretty pretty much new tips here. There you go. I just like seeing a nice solid joint, man. But you know what I'm saying? That's a solid, shiny joint right there, man. I know that's going to hold tight for a long time. See that? I mean, those are good joints right there. I'll show you. I'll show you a little more detail after I'm done. But those are good joints. And you're not going to be able to do this with your hacko. You're just not. Maybe, but it's going to take you a hell of a lot longer than what it's taking me. Well, this is definitely easier than a 6 series. Looks like there's a little bit more of a gap. I'm on a row, so I'm not gonna. Eh, maybe I will. Retin. Okay. That was too much. There, there you go. Man, that was definitely a lot easier than the 6 series, for sure. So, let me clean this up and then I'll show you guys uh, how, how nice these joints are, man. And how solid this is. And this is how you replace a connector on, a, on, a, on an iPhone. This is, this is like OEM now. Okay, so that's solid. Clean up the flux a little bit here. All right, so let's take a look at this, okay? So, look at these joints here, man. Look out, look that's what you want. You want a nice shiny joint, okay? And these are solid joints right here. No bridges. Nice and shiny, man. You just don't want to see any movement. Because then you're going to have a loose joint and they'll send it back to you. So. I mean, I can just tell these are solid joints. Right. You know what? This is definitely easier. So easier in a six series, at least. Uh, there you go, man. We're all done here. All done. So let's put this back and test it. I think we're all good.
Ugh, come on, man. Stupid thing's not going in. Okay, there it goes. Nope. Sometimes it takes a little bit for that initial con connect. I'm gonna jack it up again, watch. And I'm gonna jack up my screen, watch. That's it in. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, whatever. I think that's good. Hopefully I don't blow anything, backlight or something like that. Alright. Alright. Turn this puppy on then. Apple logo, we are good. I'm just gonna pause this until we get the screen, home screen. Alright, the screen is up. I think, uh, I don't know. The screen is up and everything's good to go. Um, I think uh, it just takes a little while with um, when when you have stuff unplugged, basically. Uh, so the home button and all that stuff ne really needs to be plugged in. Proximity sensor front cam. If something's not plugged in, then it takes a while to boot. I think that's an iOS, iOS 11 thing. So, anyways, we are back in business. This is actually, what's today, Monday. So, I let it sit here for a little bit. And so, we are back in business. Uh, I think that's it. We'll call this a day.